thanks Tom. Well storms over the weekend rolled through putting on quite the display of lightning. Now did you know this time of the year is prime time for lightning? To talk more about the topic we're bringing in meteorologist Natalie Nunn and I did not know this. Okay well I want to start by saying did you know that heat lightning, it just simply doesn't exist? Now, it hurts my Ozarkian heart a little bit to say that because lightning in the clouds is what we refer to as heat lightning. This video that you're watching is from Oklahoma. However, the term heat lightning is commonly used to describe lightning from a distant thunderstorm too far away to see the ground or the cloud to ground flash or hear the thunder. Now, oftentimes the sound of thunder can only be heard about 10 miles from the location of the flash. And these storms are well, well away. The heat of summer brings on more lightning and as the sun heats the air near the ground, bubbles of warm air rise and produce clouds, precipitation and eventually the lightning. Now the National Weather Service uses this graphic to explain heat lightning where your line of sight is is oftentimes just seeing the tops of the storms and not the base of the clouds. Also things like mountains, trees or just the curvature of the earth prevents the observer from seeing the flash of lightning. Now I thought this was an interesting graphic. Did you know that being under a tree during a lightning storm is the most deadliest place you could possibly be? I'll have more on this on our website if you head over to ozarksfirst.com. Angela? All right, thank you, Natalie.